All right, now, to change the standing unit into a seated unit for seated cervical traction, all we have to do is take the, the uh, back pad bar off. We're gonna take that and we're gonna place that right back into that bracket right back there to hold that into place for us. And then we're gonna go ahead and place a chair in here. And now we're gonna use the chair for our seat attraction setup. So I'll have Amanda come on back in and I'll let her take a seat. All right, so now I wanna show you a setup for what's called a, a axial two-way type of uh, cervical traction, also more commonly known as a Pope traction. And for this, what we're gonna do is we have already taken off our large crossbar and I, I'm gonna have you put the small crossbar in place now on the back section. Right there. We're gonna, a second one that we're gonna place on the front one. Right there, just like that. Next, we're gonna go ahead and place the, the cervical sling behind her neck. And we're simply gonna hook up for that. We'll hook up on one side. We'll hook up the other side. And now, we're next are gonna take the head halter. All of these pieces are included with your unit. We're gonna take the head halter. We're gonna place that on her chin and we're gonna ask her to simply hold that right on her chin, right in the center. We're gonna hook up on one side. Hook up on the other side. Just right into the Velcro, just like that. And then this one, we're gonna disengage that ratchet. And we're gonna hook up to this crossbar right here. Hook up right here. And now, depending on your angle of front pull is gonna determine the angle of your back pull. If I'm doing a lower cervical front pull, you want a higher back pull. If I'm doing a higher pull into her neck, then I would move this down lower to do a lower pull for the back pull. For uh, Well, I'll show you a setup just the way we have right now. For this one is more for a lower neck pull, where we've got this pulling into the lower neck. And I can adjust that to come down a little lower for me. We're gonna pull into the lower neck. And so this pull is just about right. I want a little higher pull up from the back if I'm gonna pull low into the lower front neck. Now, one more thing you're gonna to wanna to do, this type of setup especially is good for people that have loss of curve in their lower neck and maybe even into their upper thoracic spine. So as we pull the curve into her lower neck, we do not wanna pull her completely out of that chair. So what is good to do for this setup is to also just hold her shoulders in place. So we're gonna place one strap right across your shoulder joints like that. There's not a lot of tension on this. It's simply simply hold her in place and so we don't pull her whole body forward. We're gonna try simply to pull her neck and her upper thoracics forward. So I'm gonna lower that down, just like that. We'll tighten that up. Just like that. And then we're gonna apply a little tension to the back. Right there. But again, not much back tension yet. Because the main thing we wanna do, again, is we wanna pull the neck forward. So the main pull is gonna come from the front pull. There should be twice as much front pull as there is back pull. Now you can either guesstimate that, or we do also have strain gauges, gauges that can go in line here that can actually measure the amount of pull that, you, that you're applying. And those are available from Circular Traction Supply and can be used with the unit. You okay? Okay, since I don't have those gauges and I can't measure the pull, I'm gonna simply pull to hurt tolerance and we got a good amount of front pull on there and we're pulling that, we've got her ear pretty much in line with her shoulder, we're definitely pulling that forward and then I'm simply gonna apply tension to the back. Just a little bit of tension to the back but the main force needs to come from this front pull. And so there's a setup 
for a, a, a Pope type traction, axial extension traction, where we're pulling the upper neck, uh, the head and upper neck backward and up, and we're pulling the lower neck or to middle neck and upper thoracics forward.